We know that when a man and a woman decide to separate, this is either done by choice, when the man himself divorces his wife by saying, Anti Taliq, you're divorced or we're divorced, or by the woman filing for khula, and she compensates her husband by returning his dowry or parts of it, and in exchange for that financial compensation, he agrees for khula, and they separate. Or it can be done forcefully by the Muslim judge. After studying the case and finding that marriage cannot continue or that there is something that prevents the marriage from existing, such in the case of one of the spouses uh, um, rejects Islam and becomes an apostate. In Khula, what happens is that there is a mutual agreement, usually. And in some cases, the judge enforces such a process where the wife says she wants to bail out. She doesn't want to stay in this marriage. And she has her reasons. If verified and legit, and the husband does not want to, the judge forces him to. And if the husband is okay with that, and he decides to settle by accepting his dowry back or part of it, any financial contribution, in this case, the separation takes place. So the moment he says, I agree, and he takes the money, they're separated. They are not man and wife anymore. And a woman in the khullar process has an iddah, 